It's the Young Turks 14 years. Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks, India's longest running show on entrepreneurship. Now, the first half of 2015, the year gone by, saw a lot of hype around hyper local delivery players but the bubble burst soon enough and many players downed shutters or downsized operations to try and stay afloat as funding dried up so today we put the spotlight on pepper tap to understand what it takes to run a business in this space backed by top tier vcs like sequoia capital and Ceph partners and marketplace snap deal pepper tap launched services in november 2014 to let users buy groceries via their mobile app while PepperTap achieved instant scale, much like other players, this company has also had to shut down operations in six cities, including metros like Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. Young Turks caught up with the founding team, Navneet Singh and Milind Sharma, to find out what they're doing differently now and what's keeping them going despite the industry blues. I got out of business school in 2006 and I had this idea of starting something of my own right then and there. But it was not something uh, which I was ready for. I uh, didn't have enough courage to sort of take the plans right then and there. Marriage and home loans followed, and when Navneet Singh paid off the last EMI in 2011, he finally decided to take the plunge. So I decided I want to do something in logistics, but I had absolutely no experience in logistics. So I said, okay, let me join some logistics company and try and understand what this is. So I joined this company called Delivery, uh, spent about eight months there, uh, tried to understand what models work, what don't work, what are the opportunities around. Uh, zeroed in on a uh, couple of opportunities which I thought I could sort of take up on my own. So Navneet, along with a colleague from Delivery, Milan Sharma, founded NovoX, a reverse pickup service for e-commerce companies. A couple of years into running this business successfully, the two were spotted another opportunity in the delivery space, on-demand hyper-local delivery. Started meeting different funds. Uh, finally, Sequoia came in and said that okay, we'll put in capital for you know building PepperTap. At that point, even PepperTap name was not there. The idea was there, but I didn't know what name was it going to be. What was the team like? So it's absolutely uh, at a zero level. This was 2014 and PepperTap became the 25th startup in India and the 9th in Gurgaon in this space. With a focus on building and marketing an app for grocery shopping, Delhi NCR became the first market for this duo's experiments. Initially though, grocers were wary of coming on board because tying up with PepperTap would mean they would have to change their processes and also part with their already slim margins on the FNCG goods. The stores would generally say that, okay, you, now you're uh, kind of partnering with me, tomorrow you may set up your own thing, because they looked at Big Basket, right? So Big Basket, at least from what I understand, started like this, and then they uh, went on to the inventory-led model. But we were very clear right from day one that, look, we are not getting into the inventory game. The, uh, the kind of pitch that we had was, look, look, uh, the people are going to buy online, right? You don't have an online presence. Uh, so your customers are going to move online and go somewhere else. What you need to do is basically partner with some platform like us, uh, who helps you retain your customers and actually gives you access to a bigger sort of set of customers. The next set of challenges that uh, uh, appeared and it's still there <coughs> is basically getting the inventory online. The kind of technology that the local stores use is not really up to the mark. They don't exactly know from the system that okay, 10 items of 10 packets of this biscuit are uh, lying in my store or not. And then they go and check physically that maybe 8 or 10 or 12 or it could be anything. So getting that data clean, getting that data online, you know, showing on our platform, that's a big challenge. Soon they boarded 15 merchants in Delhi NCR and the decision was taken to move into other cities. This of course came on the back of having raised $10 million from Sequoia Capital and Seth Partners in 2015. PepperTap at its peak had a presence in 17 cities and staff strength which included delivery personnel of 2500. We've shut down quite a few of our cities that we were operating in because we thought that okay the times is changing the investment climate was changing quite a bit for example we shut down bombay because the customer base was very small there we had been there for like three months only uh delhi we've been there right from day one so the customer base here itself is fairly big the second city we started was actually pune third city we started was uh, bangalore and then hyderabad so these are the older cities where we have the uh, highest number of customers these are the ones that we sort of said okay we, let's retain these customers that we have let's give them the best experience uh, that we can and build a profitable business out of it now on the face of it, these hyper-local players solved the exact same pain point of the customer but while players like Grofers and PepperTap decided to downsize, Inventory Heavy Big Basket raised $150 million in fresh funds in March this year. We asked Navneet what he thinks he's doing right at PepperTap now. So Big Basket has its own warehouses, they own their own inventory, they'll sort of own this, right? 
we don't own any of the stores we don't own any of the inventory in the stores uh, we basically leverage what is there already in the local area so for example this store right what we will do is we'll basically activate a few of these areas around the store and any customer who logs into the application in, in those areas they'll see the, uh, the inventory which is there in this store right and our opinion is that an inventory led model um, in the short term maybe it looks better because people think that they'll get more margin but once the scale is achieved uh, i think apple local models are much better model uh, to go ahead with so uh, uh, going forward whenever we are uh, doing expansion it's going to be a slow kind of expansion we start with the city actually build depth there a uh, decent base of customers keeping this in mind pepper tap is targeting to create a presence in 50 cities in the next 5 years Well this is going to be a game of patience and we hope that you're able to meet your 5 year target it is now time for us to take another break here on young tech but when we return catch the story of Ahmedabad based productivity tool griddle The Young Turks 14 years 